Hey guys, what's up? This is Ben back again. Um, today is just going to show a little uh, video of kind of an update for my model and stuff and just kind of show my stash of uh, models here. Uh, most of these I've got pretty cheap. They're in here. A lot of NASCAR kits. I did buy it's a dark up there, but I did buy the Kale Yarborough kit from somewhere, but everything and there's a couple of those kits that are partial or, or partially put together. Um, there's a couple of Model T kits right there. They're the little ones and some miscellaneous stuff up there. But uh, then we get more into more cars. I probably want to... These were A lot of these uh, are right in here except for that Datsun were from Ollie's. And they were like six, seven bucks a piece. And then we come back in here. And uh, let's see, let's move this. So, well, I can't. Got Top Gun on top of that, one of the weirdos. I got a Knight Rider, and it's like a Nomad, and the Beetle Bus. Bubba Red Wagon. I got a vintage one up here. I got two vintage kits there. Um, they are put together. Uh, one of them is in the right box. The other one is uh, something else. And the Star Trek kit there. I got it like a flea market. And uh, so yeah, there's an overview of the closet. My shelf is full. So now I'll take you over here. I'll be right back and we'll look at what else I have. Um, here's some more. I picked up several of these recently. Um, I got this at an antique type store. Um, and it's still sealed up. It's a little dusty. But uh an antique mall it's a Star Wars limited edition tie interceptor it's a gold tone the whole thing and um, yeah don't know I may leave this one sealed for the time being but I may build it eventually um, looks like they only bring about 20 something dollars on the online so and I gave a little bit less than that for it at the antique mall um, let's see move some stuff around uh, Picked up this Datsun off-road pickup. Um, honestly, kind of wanted to do a lowrider type Datsun or something, but I, I may build this as is. I'm, I'm still studying on that. Um, any of the Datsuns and stuff that are online are made by the Japanese companies. The steering wheel is on the wrong side, so for us Americans, anyway. Um, I like old NASCAR and racing stuff, and this is Dave Pearson's old Torino, and uh, it was in the uh, hobby shop, and uh, I grabbed it. That's a heavy box. There's some probably some good parts in there. So shuffle around. I got two of these uh, 50 Ford Custom pickup kits. Um, they were in like another little antique junk store thingy. I only saw one of them the first time, and I got the first one for five bucks. They're both still sealed. I went back and I saw the other one, and it had seven dollars. I know it's ten dollars on it, and it kind of sucks. The owner of that store, if people price stuff in there too cheap, he'll buy it, then put it on his table for a higher price. So it had ten bucks on it. Sorry for the it's dark looking. Uh, but anyways, I uh, I said, well, what will you take for it? You know, I bought the other one. He said, well, I'll let you have it for seven because I'm in there pretty regular, which that's still a good deal, very good deal. So, um, this there's a store way out in the country, sort of, and he has some models. It always has a good selection. I picked up this uh, 49 Ford Coupe, the Gas Man kit. Um, if I build it, I think I'd build it like that. Or whenever I build it. You know how it is. Uh, this was a Hobby Lobby pickup. Used a coupon to get it cheaper. The 40% off. That's for the stash. We'll build it one day. That wasn't. This one's another Ollie's pickup. I just didn't. You see they were $7.99 when I bought them. And I also bought this uh, Earnhardt car. Same place I bought these. And I got it for. It's got 6 bucks on it. I don't know. I think I paid 5 for it and uh it was another one he he even said well if i'd have saw that i would have bought it and marked it up to 10. so we're going to come back one more time with another little stack and then we'll be done 
all right guys this is the last little part here I actually picked these up yesterday at Ollie's they were uh I just bought them to have really they were $4.99 uh, this F94C Starfire um, Curtis Jenny airplane and I got the Triceratops I may put that one together and me and my daughter painted or something but for five bucks you know hey can't hardly pass it up for that let me set these aside um I've got the 30 Model A coupe here um, as well and I've got the uh, Mobius uh, 1970 F100 custom kit that's a heavy box too that they, 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 a lot of people are building those um, got the Macross or uh, I think we called them do we call them Robotech over here in America when they were over here got the Macross kit um, I'm gonna get around to building that here before long I'm probably gonna build this one first which is a Gundam the um, I thought this one looked cool I might like put this one together just to learn how to put this kind of stuff together I'm sure these kind of work a bit similar so yeah um, that'll be fun uh, this was on sale last time I was at Hobby Lobby so I got this to put together with my daughter for her little Star Wars model collection it was $11.99 I thought about buying some more of them different ones but uh, got this one also wanted to get her this I used my 40% off coupon on this one uh, the Grave Digger snap tight kit we went to the monster trucks a while back so she'll enjoy that she doesn't know I have these so uh, yeah that's my model collection thus far like I said I uh, I set my Firebird I've been working on while I set it back I, I kinda screwed something up on it and I was getting frustrated so I'll come back to it later so anyway guys thanks for watching take care